Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to take a break from our local environment and I'm going to show you guys a Solana playground, which is provided by Solana themselves. I want to show you this because it's, it makes our lives easier. There is some example tutorials in here that you can check out if you want to. There are some things you can learn from here. And also the reason I'm using this from, for this project is that it makes building and deploying a program really easy. You will not waste any time trying to deploy or trying to set up your own local in case you have any problems. But if you want to use your local, it's also completely fine. We are highly encouraging you to follow along inside this Solana playground. I'm going to start a new project in here. So it's going to be a restaurant review and users will be able to add a review with a description and a rating. And also the publisher of the review will be able to update it. And the others are just going to be able to see what the other people have written from the blockchain. So we are going to call this restaurant review. I'm going to use native Rust as always inside this course. Here you can see that it's already providing us a little bit of a boilerplate code. But first we need to implement the state. So I'm going to open up a new file actually. And I will call this state.rs. Whenever we open a new folder, we need to declare it inside this lib.rs. And for that, I will use public mode state. So it's going to be a part of our application since we have defined this mode. And right now, we are ready to get started with the state. So I'm going to start with a struct. And this struct is going to be our actual account state. So inside, we are going to store if this account is initialized. It's going to be public because I want this lib.rs to be able to access it. As you know, they are by default initialized as private in Rust. So we are going to have a is initialized, which is going to be a Boolean type. So in case we are creating it, it's going to be false. But when we are updating, this is initialized is going to be true. We are going to have a rating, which is going to be of type U8. We are going to have description. So we want people to be able to provide some description of their feelings. And we are going to have a title of the comment, restaurant review. So as always in Solana, we need to derive serialize and deserialize. So for serialize and borsh deserialize. And we actually need to get these one. We actually need to use borsh to get these libraries on borsh serialize. And after this, we need to implement seal, but I'm going to leave it empty for now. And then as always, we need to implement is initialized because we are defining it as Boolean, but we don't know what the default value is. So let's do it right now is initialized. And we are defining this for account state. So is initialized is going to get reference to self. And it's going to return Boolean, which is self is in short. So since this is a return statement, I didn't add semicolon with the return. Without semicolon and return, it's going to be automatically returned. We haven't done our custom errors yet, so let's do them right now. We actually need to derive. What we are deriving in this case is review and error. And we are going to create an enum called review error. So first error we are going to see is actually account at initialize. So this is when we try to update an un uninitialized account. Now for this, we actually need to use this error. And from here, we are going to get error. And also while I'm here, let's do all of the imports. So we need this sealed and is initialized. For that, we are going to use Solana program, program tag. In here, we have is initialized along with seal. We are defining the errors. We need to use the actual errors from programmer. Programmer, actually, let's call the actual programmer. All right, so we have the error for not initialized account. And we also need an error for invalid rating. So as you remember, we have a rating from in the state and we want this to be from one to 10. Let's call this rating greater than 10 or less than one. 
So in this case, we are going to return invalid rating. And lastly, we are going to implement another error called PDA error. And just call it invalid, invalid PDA. So this will happen when the derived PDA in update a comment is not going to match the given comment. So you're going to see the implementation. Don't worry about it for now. And let's implement review error for program error. So let's call a function called from. It's going to get a review error and it's going to return self with custom error. So right now what we are doing is actually we are wrapping the error, review error, the custom errors we had to the actual program errors of Solana. Since the custom and program error looks for a U32, we are going to get E as U32. And actually with this implementation, we are done with the state. So we are going to hold this account state inside the PDA and we are going to have these errors. And in the next video, we are going to see what instructions we have and how we are going to unpack them.